This is Jerry Lopez. We're watching SanCalmanyTimes.com. Jay Sparky Longley, how are you doing today on this Sunday? What we're doing is we have a two-day battle of the paddle for kids, the whole family here. So we wanted to have something for everybody, myself and Jerry and Pat Huber and, and uh, Barrett Tester. So we came up with this and it took us up to this year to really get it to a point where uh, it's for everybody. And uh, we have some wonderful, wonderful kids programs. Uh, Kids races and and uh, stuff for the disadvantaged, races for the disadvantaged, and and SUP demos for everybody. And that's really what we wanted to do: bring awareness to another water sport for everybody. Excellent. How do you see the future of uh, stand-up paddling? You know, I think it's good because you can learn in three minutes. Take your kids with you. It's safe. It's warm. You don't have to be in the water. And it's a beautiful thing to do. You don't have to really be good at anything just have to be able to want to go out in the water and uh, just uh, have it be in a beautiful place. We had, uh, I think we just raised the bar on stand-up paddle surfing racing events the last couple of days because this is, my dream has always been to have, rather than just a straight race, to have an event that went in and out through the surf and uh, I think we pulled off a pretty cool one this weekend and I think uh, a lot of people are going to be looking at this type of event for stand-up paddle surfing um, just because you know from a spectator point of view it's pretty exciting and from uh, a competitor's point of view a lot of stuff can happen you know I mean you may not get a great start but if you get a great wave you could end up winning. My name is Danny Ching and I'm from Redondo Beach. I've been competing for about a year. I started uh, last November and just a couple competitions. I think this is my fifth or sixth competition. Uh, we did a, I believe it was 10 mile stand up paddleboard race from uh, here at Doheny down to San Clemente Pier and back. And uh, I think it took about an hour and a half. <laughs> I'm Chuck Patterson and you're watching SanClementeTimes.com. Big time fan favorite, Chuck Patterson. You can see the huge smile from here. <laughs> uh, we just did a 10-mile race down the coast uh, from uh, right here in Dana Point all the way to uh, San Clemente Pier and then did a turn and then all the way back up into the side chop wind. Pretty challenging. Pretty challenging. Excellent. Excellent. How long did it take you? Uh, I think about an hour and 30-some minutes. I'm not quite sure. Are you the eventing champ? Uh, well, from last year, but this year, uh, you know, I, I came in fourth, but, you know, there's so many great competitors, so I'm stoked where I placed. My 
Partners, Brandy Baxick, San Clemente, California. Well, what we had was a 10-mile uh, a stand-up paddleboard race starting here at Dana Point and going down to San Clemente Pier and back. And um, really what I did, <laughs> I just tried not to fall. I prayed a lot and paddled hard. <laughs> um, I started in May, so like, uh, yeah, like five months or something like that. Yeah. What's the reason that you started paddleboarding? Oh, I used to do triathlons and um, I can't run anymore because my foot's all doesn't work. <laughs> and uh, and so I just started paddling. I mean, I, I'm kind of that person that I have to always have something to do and uh, kind of goal driven and stand up paddleboarding has really been challenging and uh, it's been a lot of fun too. Alright folks, competitors, you guys can start gathering over by the group. I'm Drew Brophy and you're watching SanClementeTimes.com. And uh, I'm here painting a mural. I'm a professional artist here in town. And I'm just trying to paint something that depicts what paddle surfing is all about, which is the freedom of being in the water. And uh, just the joy that it can bring you. It's like walking on water. Yeah, well basically I'm just painting on birch plywood, which is a finished plywood. And um, I use spray paints, like graffiti paints and it allows me to cover it really quick and then I come back with my paint pens and add all the detail and I uh, use a little bit of airbrush and just a little bit of everything to get it done and it's really not that hard. Uh, I started yesterday at 10 o'clock so probably got about eight hours into it now and I'll spend about two more so about 12 hours and uh, it's all done and it was just a really good thing for the spectators to be able to watch this and you know it's just another fun thing to have at the Battle of the Paddle. It just, I really want people to see the mural and kind of imagine what it feels like to be paddling on your own out way out in the ocean and you can see all the sea life. It's really quiet. There's no uh, modern noises and you just feel at one with the ocean and, and it's a really good feeling and I would suggest everybody try it. Well, the, my own paddling experience is uh, you know, I love to surf and when the waves were flat, this allowed me to get out there and surf and exercise. So when the waves are good, I'm fit and it's a great exercise and a great sport. I really like to ride big waves on it and uh, push the limits of trying to get in the barrel or uh, just ride some waves you normally wouldn't surf. I'm Andrea Moller and you're watching SanClementeTimes.com and I'm originally from Brazil but I live in Hawaii, Maui. Uh, today was a 10 mile course race, it's a long distance race uh, on a stand up. I had a park board, it was an 18 foot board and very competitive race. It was awesome out there, a little bit of a side wind, so you had to be smart on how to surf and how to go against the wind, but it was a great hour plus paddle. My final place was uh, I think fourth, I was fighting for like second or third by the buoy but then the girls just had a better course and Fourth is good, I'm stoked. from Rainbow Sandals, and you're watching sanclementitimes.com.